Tonight, we are digging deeper into the violence in Jacksonville. And one of those sources of violent crimes in the River City is Internet cafes. That is according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. So we have a poll right now at the bottom of your screen. Will closing video gambling arcades across Jacksonville help solve the city's crime problem? What do you think? You can vote now. We'll have those results for you in just a couple of minutes. And just in the last seven days, there have been six separate shootings in the Jacksonville city limits. In the last six months, the crime mapping system that JSO directs the public to use for information shows 59 homicides, 59. Now, a high concentration of homicides is in the north side of Jacksonville, and that's why folks there are working on solutions to try and end all of the violence. Alex Osidis is on your side, traveling across areas where community organizers are focused on making things safer. Alex? This is an area that Pastor Atlas Rankin, who's been in the community for 30 years, describes as the center for the violence. It's not far down Fifth Street, where three people were shot just last week. One person was killed. Now, it's the folks here that say they're looking for solutions that start in the neighborhood. Church is not going nowhere. The church is right here in the middle of it. And so why not use the resources that are provided for the church? Pastor Atlas Rankin knows his community who's attending on Sundays and what they may be involved with. These are still people. And as long as, as long as they're still people, you can still connect to them. You can still reach the human part of them. Rankin's New Life Community Church on 17th Street isn't far from several shootings that have happened this year. He says is someone invested in the people here, he's determined to find solutions. Can't stop everything. Um, we still, we are still proactive in our approach to preventing what we can prevent. It's why he built a studio for photography, music, whatever will keep the kids off the streets and away from violence. He explains it's a way of reaching those who may fall through the cracks of other programs. And Rankin is not alone. Turning battlegrounds into playgrounds. That's Nashawn Nix. He heads the programs at the First Coast Leadership Foundation, teaching teens and preteens nonviolent techniques to problem solving, taking a breath, talking it out, but there's something else, letting out energy through martial arts lessons. Not saying that those methods didn't work 50 years ago, 40 years ago, or 20 years ago, but in this day and age, we gotta be able to improvise and innovate. At six, are the solutions offered by the city of Jacksonville the same as what you had just heard from those community organizers? Well, we'll take a closer look at the Cure Violence campaign coming up. Reporting on the north side, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.